Gemini friends. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to cover the next two weeks, March 4th to the 17th, 2019. So, you know, for your weekly readings anymore, you could catch me live every Wednesday on my Facebook page for your weekly readings. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And for those of you that are new, a lot of, there are new, a lot of new subscribers. You know, first I want to say welcome and thank you guys so very much for subscribing. Truly, I appreciate all of you so, so much. And also, you know, keep in mind, I'm reading for a lot of you. If the reading doesn't resonate, you know, definitely please feel free to watch your other signs. Wheel of the Year for you guys. For Gemini, Spirit, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun, Gemini, March 4th to the 17th, 2019, Gemini, your cards feel perfect. Gemini, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Okay, this is going to be your overall energy, which is the Seven of Wands. And at the bottom of the deck, I'm just using this as, you know, to see how you're coming into the reading. The Eight of Cups. So, you're definitely thinking about moving forward. Physically moving, traveling. I, feel, I do feel for the majority of you, you're like, you want to leave the past behind. Look to the future, move on emotionally, definitely for some of you. And I do feel like there's something you want very much. You know, this is a card of you know, standing firm with what it is that you want, not compromising, not packing down, standing, standing your ground, standing up for yourself. It's a, you know, a defensive energy. You know, you may be discussing it, but... You're, you're not, you're, you're very focused on the future. You are not backing down, giving up. And you have two sevens in this reading with the seven of pentacles. Seven days, seven weeks, the seventh of the month, the 16th. And seven is also a very spiritual number. It's a divine timing number. Which for some of you, it could be now, but we'll get to that. And, you know, and you're also emotionally very happy. You're content, emotionally in a good place. You know, and there's something that you're definitely going to celebrate with the Three of Cups. Feeling happy. You know, there's, a, there's definitely a lot of a, emotional energy here. But this is also a lot of social energy, getting out and about, spending time with friends, family, just a lot of happiness, wanting to celebrate something, you know, and there's definitely something new to celebrate coming in with this Ace of Wands and it's passionate. It's an exciting new beginning for some of you, it could be an idea that you have the beginning of something that's very exciting and uh, you know there's an angel right here the sunlight is bright you're definitely being and I just which is ironic because I said it's a divine timing number angels you know being guided on the right path is really what I feel. You moving forward 
is really what you want. Whether it's a job, a relationship, the beginning of something that's very exciting. With the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like you've already planted the seeds with something and I think you're just waiting. You know, the Seven of Pentacles is you planted the seeds and literally you're just waiting to reap the rewards, waiting to be able to celebrate this new beginning. You could be, you know, waiting on a decision in regards to this. To this Ace of Wands, definitely. This new beginning. You know, this could even be a job. You know, there's some sort of new beginning that has come into your life. And with the Two of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles, you're definitely, you're just definitely waiting on a decision. You are. But it's coming. You're, you're definitely waiting on a decision from someone. Or you're trying to make a decision. But this decision is what's going to allow for you to fully manifest this Ace of Wands, that's really what I'm getting. You know, even with the Two of Wands, you know, you are, you know, the, be, you're, you're planting roots. So you are very much focused on the future. You know, feeling passionate. With the Five of Pentacles, I think Leo just got this card. Leo? Yeah. You know, when I said the same thing to them that I'm going to say to you, I think you're just sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know, it, it, sure, it, it is a, you know, feeling, a card of feeling a lack financially, but really look at this card. For some of you, maybe it is, but... This is feeling down, sad, feeling a lack. It's it's losing faith. You're feeling alone. And I think it's because you've been wanting to start this new beginning, waiting on this decision, really feeling left alone. For some of you, this definitely, you know, could be a relationship issue for some of you. For some of you, you really, you could have met someone new. It was that, you know, instant spark. And now it's almost like you're waiting on it to go somewhere. You're waiting to be able to start this new beginning with this person. And this is a person that you've invested a lot of time, energy, uh, emotion into. You know, you definitely got to know this person. And I do feel like with the Three of Cups here, for some of you, there definitely could be a situation involving three people. With the Eight of Cups, you could have been in a relationship, you know, even married with the Ten of Cups for a long time. And, and you definitely could be making the decision to, to move towards this new person. Or you're making the decision to move towards this person. Definitely with this Ace of Wands. And you're definitely keeping it a secret. The High Priestess. Or people around you are finding you secretive. Emotionally, I think, I feel like you're doing this. 
I keep moving towards this new beginning or this new relationship. You know, with the Seven of Pentacles, you know, you're waiting. And for some of you, you just might have, you could have secretly made a decision to move towards this new beginning, whether it's a new relationship or something else. You know, definitely listen to your intuition with this card, Gemini. You know, and I do feel whatever this, this Five of Pentacles is, you know, fives do just represent, you know, change, challenges, losing faith. You know, you losing faith with someone or feeling a lack, you're definitely overcoming that with the Six of Wands. You really are, because look at you. I mean, you're just very happy. You know, it's a card of feeling very successful, confident, proud of yourself. You know, so others of you could have been waiting on a decision from your partner. A business partner. It could even be a friend. You know, a relationship in regards to a new job. There's definitely some sort of decision that you're waiting on or you're making, but I absolutely see success coming in. I, feel, I do feel like, you know, some of you are spending time with friends, family. It really is going to be beneficial for you to get out and about, talk to your friends. You know, for some of you, I do feel like this is a long-term relationship, partnership that you're moving toward. You know, and definitely listen to your intuition. You know, if your intuition is telling you to move towards this new beginning, you definitely need to think about your future and then move forward. Really. It, it feels really positive. Let me get you an Oracle card. Um, messages from the angels. For additional guidance. Clarification. Gemini. March 4th to the 17th. Spirit for Gemini. Definitely this one. You know, tens do represent cycles that are ending. So you really are leaving the past behind you. Wow, Zaina, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. The worst is now behind you. You might have to be patient and wait. When it comes to this ace of wands, but it's coming, it's here, it's beautiful. I do, and I do feel strongly that this is very much spiritually, divinely guided for you. I know this is, you know, a two week reading. You know, but sometimes the energies could play out longer. That's why I've decided to just do two weeks here. You know, for some of you, it could be July where... But it's worth waiting for. And it's worth standing your ground for. It really is. You might have to be patient and wait. But it's coming. It's here. It's beautiful. Relax and feel safe. Listen to your intuition. Go with and go with the flow, honestly, and move forward. Really. That's what I say. If you have this, the most passionate card in the entire deck, whether it is a new relationship, career, I don't care what it is. I mean that's that's amazing shit. You know, it is. Emotionally, it's very emotional, sure, but it is worth it. 
Love your reading, Gemini, really. Love you guys. Have a great two weeks, and I will see you for Facebook Live. Take care.